Welcome to this week's security report. I'm Paul McAdam. Thanks for joining us. Please be informed that with effect from Monday, May 18th, the Ghana Police Force recommenced issuing of certificates of fitness for motor vehicles and gun license renewals. A date for the resumption of the practical driving tests will be announced later. Now, just a quick tip, if you have fever, coughing, or any difficulty breathing, please call the coronavirus hotline numbers. These are 227-496-229-749023116-226-7480-624-3555. Now, let's tell you on Friday, June 12, ranks of the force conducted a drug eradication exercise at Kalkuni in the upper Burbis River. During the six hours of operation, the team found on a four-acre farm the following, about 18,000 plants ranging in cultivation size from two to four feet in height, a large quantity of dried cannabis, five spent cartridges, a makeshift camp with four hammocks, a mattress, kitchen utensils and groceries. And let's tell you that the farm camp and dry cannabis were photographed and destroyed by fire. The area was marked by its GPS location, but no arrests have been made to this time. The next day, June 13, saw ranks under the command of a gazetted officer conducting a narcotics exercise also in the Burbies River at Bartica Village. Two and a half acres of approximately 20,000 plants in a camp were discovered. The plants ranged in size between three to six feet with an estimated street value of $47,500,000. At the developed village, an acre of cultivated plants and a camp was also discovered with roughly 3,000 plants ranging up to four feet in height, with an estimated street value of about four million Ghana dollars. At Gateroy Village, two farms were discovered approximately two and a half acres each respectively, along with camps. Both fields had approximately 25,000 plants, ranging up to five feet in height, with an estimated street value of eight to three million four hundred thousand dollars. The plants and camps were marked by GPS coordinates and destroyed by fire. Let's say you know the mentally ill Pillai King was shot in the left leg by ranks of a police patrol in Linden, Region 10, on June 15. Headquarters said in a statement that the man of unsung mind attacked the police ranks with a cutlass, who, after warning him repeatedly to stop, had to shoot him. He is presently admitted on the guard at the Linden Hospital complex. It is said that the man habitually attacks persons within the community with a cutlass and other implements. Investigations are ongoing. Four persons have been detained for questioning in relation to the gruesome murder of an 82-year-old woman at Tain on the east coast of Berbice. This was confirmed by Commander of B Division Calvin Brutus. He said that while the investigation is still active, four were detained based on information provided. They are said to be residents of the same community, with two being from the same street where the woman lived. The woman has been identified as Chandari Budu. She was known to neighbors as Aunt Deo and lived at Lot 83 in Tain Settlement. Her body was discovered in her bedroom in the lower flat of her home with her hands and feet tied and strangulation marks to her neck. The woman reportedly suffered recent attacks, the most recent being in April when perpetrators carted off cash and jewelry from her home. It is believed that she knew the identity of her attackers. And an 18-year-old motorcyclist was killed after a taxi driver crashed into him on Delft Avenue in Camberville on Tuesday, June 16. Dead is Elijah Ballard of Meadowbrook Gardens in Georgetown. Senior Commander, Syrian Superintendent Philip Bazor, said that the accident occurred at about 14.10 hours. It is understood that the driver of the motorcar 8C1527 was proceeding west on John Street, a one-way street, whilst the motorcyclist was proceeding north on Delft Avenue when the driver failed to stop at the stop sign. As a result, the two collided and Ballard fell off his motorcycle, landing several feet away from the point of impact. He was picked up in an unconscious state by emergency medical technicians and rushed to the Georgetown Public Hospital, where he died whilst undergoing emergency surgery. The driver of the motor car tested negative for alcohol, but he is in police custody assisting with the investigation. And force investigators arrested a 26-year-old male and seals a number of firearms belonging to a private security firm. Following the circulation of a social media video in which a cache of firearms was on display and also in which threats of violence were made, 26-year-old German Kingston was arrested. The man was attached to the Nazardeen Mohammed security firm and working at the Jumbo Jet Display store in Smythe Street. High-powered rifles were also seized from the security firm's inventory in Burbies. However, NM Security Services denied that the weapons seen in the video belonged to their company. A senior official even stated that the suspect was employed as a gate man 
at Jumbo Jet. His job was to stand at the gate and sanitize customers, reportedly. The suspect was said to be working with NM Security Services for only about three months, and he's not licensed to carry any weapons. And the police are on the hunt for three men who gagged and tied up and beat a 27-year-old sales girl on Wednesday at Quartzstone Bag Dam, Cuyuni River. The victim operated a waterfront shop when, on the day in question, the three men entered at about 20-30 hours and purchased three Banks beers. Two of the men reportedly whipped out handguns and forced the victim into a room where they bonged and gagged her and then escaped with a digital modem valued $160,000, a $100,000 gold chain, a gold ring valued at $30,000, along with around $100,000 in cash. The victim freed herself after the gunman departed, reported the incident to her employer, who then filed a report at the Bartica police station on Thursday. And the police are investigating the death of 18-year-old Melissa Soma, whose body was found floating in the Burbis River in the vicinity of the Velt village on June 18, hours after she reportedly left the birthday party in Gateroy village. Police headquarters said that the teenager was returning home from the birthday party in the company of a 48-year-old laborer of New Amsterdam, Burbies, at around 20, 30 hours on June 17 in his wooden boat. The laborer, who is in police custody, told investigators that during the ride home, she informed him that she and her boyfriend were having problems, and she suddenly jumped overboard. According to the police, the suspect revealed that he attempted to rescue her but was unsuccessful. The suspect further told Rangs that he raised an alarm and a search party was formed, but the young woman's body was found floating the next day on the eastern shore of the river at about 1,500 hours. It was observed that the upper portion of her body, face and right hand appeared to have been eaten by fish. The body is presently at the New Amsterdam Hospital's mortuary awaiting a post-mortem examination. It is understood that Soma, who resided at Stanley Town, New Amsterdam, Burbies, left her parents' house and her three-year-old son a few months ago, telling them she was going up the Burbies River with her boyfriend. She was not seen or heard from since. Now, let's tell you in some news from the Guyana Defense Force. The ranks remain in line in keeping with regulations which follow the general and regional elections. Now for wanted bulletins. Delon Wilson is wanted by the police for questioning in relation to larceny by a public officer between 2013 and June 2020. Anyone with information that may lead to the arrest of Delon Wilson is asked to contact the police force. The force has also issued a wanted bulletin for 33-year-old Marisa Ahmad, known as Marisa Ali, in connection with simple larceny committed on Stanislas McCoy. They say that the woman of Annandale East Coast, Demerara, committed the offense on February 4, 2020, at the Ocean Spray Hotel in Stanley Place, Kitty Georgetown. Also wanted is 18-year-old Stephen Archibald in connection with the murder of 23-year-old Kyle Chase. Chase was stabbed to death on December 30, 2019, at Mazwini Street in Guy Hawk Park. The police gave Archibald's last known address as Lot 136 Victoria Street, All Boys Town, Georgetown. Now, anyone with information that may lead to the arrest of the aforementioned can contact the police on telephone numbers 226-6978-226-2870-227-1149-226-7065-911 or the nearest police station. That's it for this week's Security Report. Goodbye.